A lot of mountain bikes these days come with big knobby tires that are great in soft conditions, but are slow and have a lot of drag on hard packed terrain. So today we're going to look at the Specialized Slaughter. The Slaughter is a semi-slick tire, which means it has big cornering knobs with a center tread made up of much smaller knobs. The idea is to reduce rolling resistance while giving you good cornering if things get soft and loose. These tires are typically used as rear tires, and I'm using it both front and rear on my local cross-country trails. These trails are mostly hard packed with some root and rock sections. My first outing with the Slaughter was a race in rainy, semi-slick conditions. See what I did there? The side knobs dug into the soft muddy corners surprisingly well. I had some slippage on muddy steep climbs, but not as much as I would have expected. On dry hard pack is where these tires shine. They rolled fast and had great grip. The low center knobs are closely spaced, which actually gives you a bigger contact patch. Big knobs tend to squirm and absorb energy. The grid casing seems pretty strong and supportive. I ran it through rocks and roots with no problem. This tire is designed to pair with a more aggressive front tire like the Specialized Butcher or Eliminator, and it might make a great park riding combo. For these XC trails, the Slaughter does just fine on its own. The Slaughter retails for $70, but you can find them frequently on sale. The 27.5 by 2.6 version can be found on sale right now for $13.95. Yes, you heard it, $13.95. If you want a fast rolling tire with some bite in the corners, the Specialized Slaughter might be right for you. I'm looking forward to spending more time on these tires to see how they hold up long term. I'll leave a link to the tires in the description. I hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. Thanks for watching.